This paint, this paint that I'm applying right now is called Verdigris, and it's very weird because it it looks like it's you're just painting with white paint, but it kind of gets a lot more saturated as it dries. It's, it's kind of weird how it works that way, but it takes a couple of applications to really make it come through. This is a this is a game color, and I only have a few bottles of this game color paint. I'm not too big of a fan of it to be honest, but maybe I'm just not really used to it. Maybe I need to shake it more. I have heard that, that you really, really need to shake that paint. Matter of fact, let's do that. Let's shake this stuff a whole lot more. Actually, I have those steel balls that I bought once upon a time. So let's actually add some of those balls. Yeah, weathering is really fun. Um, I've only really truly have tried it once. Steel balls, here we go, here's the balls. <laughs> I've only really tried weathering seriously once and I got, I got hooked. I thought it was really fun and I'd like to do it more, so this project here and possibly uh, another project that I have uh, lined up. Oh my god, yeah, it's so thick. Look at this stuff. Gross. It's way too thick. That's too much. Let's put two balls. Is this even going to help? Look, I put a steel ball and it just rests on top. It's like it's like icing, like cake icing. That's the consistency. It should be soup. It should be way water, way more watery. What the hell? Here, let's put two balls. I don't know if two balls are going to help. Yeah, so this is the game color brand and i i only have a couple of paints from this this brand and this is this is partially why it's way too thick why is it so thick you have to water it down a lot but i'm thinking do i have to do i even have to mix it then anyways here let's try shaking it more Pardon me while I try and shake this shit out of this thing. 